This is Dr. Wayne Weil. I am presenting arthroscopic management of base of the thumb joint arthritis. This is a 51-year-old right-hand dominant female who has failed conservative management for her basal joint arthritis, including steroid injections, PRP injections, and occupational hand therapy. X-rays demonstrate moderate state CMC joint arthritis of the thumb with a possible loose body. This patient wanted to avoid standard arthroplasty procedures for CMC joint arthritis and had elected to proceed with arthroscopic minimally invasive management of her thumb arthritis. The setup for the thumb CMC joint arthroscopy involved use of the ARC Medical Traction Tower and 10 pounds of traction are placed across the thumb CMC joint. Mini C-arm fluoroscopy is used in order to develop the standard 1R and 1U portals at the thumb CMC joint. An Arthrex 2.9 millimeter arthroscope is placed into the thumb CMC joint and an initial evaluation of the thumb CMC joint is performed. Upon entering the joint, there is noted to be significant synovial proliferation throughout the CMC joint as well as significant cartilage loss on both the trapezial side and the metacarpal side of the thumb CMC joint. An arthroscopic shaver is used to begin an initial debridement of the thumb CMC joint and a loose body is found. An arthroscopic grasper is used to remove the loose body and then the arthroscopic shaver is used to continue performing the synovectomy of the CMC joint. The shaving synovectomy is completed and again there is noted to be significant cartilage loss on both the metacarpal side and trapezial side of the basal joint. Next an arthroscopic burr is introduced into the CMC joint in order to perform the arthroscopic hemitrapeziectomy. An arthrex 3.5 millimeter round burr is used to burr down the surface of the trapezial joint surface. While using the burr, care is taken to protect any remaining native cartilage and only the surfaces that are denuded of cartilage are burred down during this portion of the procedure. Once the arthroscopic hemitrapeziectomy is completed, a Smith & Nephew microblader thermal probe is used in order to perform a basal joint capsular stabilization. A final inspection of the joint is performed and the arthroscopic shaver is used to ensure that there are no residual loose bodies or synovitis left in the joint. Arthroscopic joint debridement and loose body removal is an excellent tool for the treatment of early to moderate stage CMC joint arthritis of the thumb in young patients who do not wish to proceed with arthroplasty procedures. There is minimal downtime after surgery and most patients return back to activities of daily living on an unrestricted basis two weeks after surgery. Final C-arm images demonstrate hemitrapeziectomy with removal of the loose body previously visualized on the preoperative films.
Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit us on the web at www.seattlehandandelbow.com.